does my counselor online do any premarital counseling? Yeah. So the answer is with a resounding yes. Yeah. Um, I love doing premarital counseling. Um, I highly recommend that for everybody, right? Regardlessly of whether um, you do it through your pastor, do it through us or another counselor, right? Or even just do it through a trusted friend, right? Any care at this point is going to be better than no care. Um, the studies show there's around a 31 to 33% like marriage satisfaction increase when a couple has gone through um, premarital counseling, right? So this is uh, something that is an added boost to your relationship. And it helps us get it on the same page and helps us to see if there's any potential roadblocks that may be in a relationship that we can't see. So true. Yeah. I mean, we got my husband and I got premarital counseling um, and it was a huge game changer. I mean, it, mm -hmm. and you know, we had been dating at that point, I think two and a half years, two years, something like that. But it opened up conversations that we had never talked about before that were actually really important conversations to have. Yeah. Yeah. And like during premarital counseling, you're taught, you will talk about anything and everything, right? Anything from where, how you grew up, um, what your education was like, your expectation for sex, like we just talked about. Right. That was going to be my next question was like, what can people expect in premarital counseling? Yeah. You'll talk about finances, household chores. Um, personalities, communication, right? Mm -hmm. We want to go through as much as possible um, before you get married so no one gets thrown any curveballs, mm -hmm. right? Or if a curveball is thrown, we know how to hit it. Yeah, yeah. I think that something that was really cool that um, we did in premarital counseling was kind of talking about our conflict styles. Mm -hmm. um, before we had ever, you know, really gotten into like a big, conflict in marriage, you know, like mm -hmm. talking through like, okay, so you like to go to the room and be alone. Okay. You need a hug. Like, yeah. things like that. And then just being like, we knew that, you know, the first time that yeah. we got into a big disagreement after being married, we knew, okay, Tori wants to go into her room and hide for an hour. Chase really wants a hug. Like, and we yeah. knew that, and we were able to kind of compromise and sort of work together to handle that conflict in a way that made us both feel like it was resolved. Yeah. Yeah. No, being able to know what each other's moves are, right? What dance we're already going to have when we are in conflict helps us to recognize it and then not to step on each other's toes. And then if we do, to be able to repair. Mm, right. Yeah. And something funny, you know, we even talked through like, okay, when Tori doesn't eat for a while, when she's hungry, she is going to be so much more angry and sensitive. Mm -hmm. And so Chase sometimes will just be like, would you like me to make you dinner? <laughs> and sometimes yeah. it really does work. <laughs> but yeah. that's me. And that's something that we kind of figured out in premarital counseling was the way that I respond when I'm hungry, when I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. No, what was funny was in like my premarital counseling, I did it with one of my great mentors, Dr. Jeff Elliott. Um, and we met each other for a long time. And so we just brought Krista into our meetings and there were, I am notorious for overthinking, right. And just over, over analyzing the situations. And so we start going through personality and like styles and he goes, Oh, Hey, Krista, by the way, Lane may not say this, but this is him exactly. And <laughs> totally called me out on my stuff, which was hilarious, but good all at the same time. Right. Krista, you need that. You need yeah. counselors who are going to be like, this might be actually how you would respond and not this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, so good. Well, Lane, would you offer premarital counseling if anyone came to you and asked for it? Yeah, I would. Um, I do a lot of premarital counseling, not only with the couples farm, uh, my counselor online, but also through my church as well for couples that want to get married as a service that I would offer. And I would be extremely grateful and honored extremely honored to be able to speak into your marriage, um, your future marriage and your current relationship. Yeah. Um, it is something that I find an immense joy in and an honor and privilege.